Okay, well, as the title says, this is going to be a review, uh, really a comparison between the old and new XL50s, uh, Magalite XL50. This is a new one, and it's basically is a, it's identical to the old one in its function and appearance. The only difference is a uh, different XML, or a different LED, I imagine, or possibly a different driver. I'm not really sure which. But either way, the original XL50 put out uh, 100... Uh, and four lumens, this one puts out 139 lumens. The original XL50 had a distance of like 145 meters. This one's 212 meters. It's a smaller hotspot with a little bit of a surrounding corona, but that smaller hotspot is a very intense focused little point of light. Um, not a point like a laser, but a definitely a smaller circle. But it's still uh, pretty effective, and it definitely has fantastic distance to it. Uh, it really travels a, a good long way, and you can really see a lot with the uh, with the new one. So I wanted to just kind of show everybody uh, the difference between these two. This is the original one, and I have some duct tape on here, which I was using as a makes a good anti-slip uh, sort of mechanism, if you will. So it keeps it from sliding, and I left it on so it helps me know which one is which. So first, we're going to do some beam shots uh, of the uh, to show you the XL50. And just for the record, this one has uh, brand new uh, disposable batteries in it. And the, uh, the new XL50, the brighter one, actually has rechargeables. So it'll be more than a fair test because the XL50 actually has a little bit uh, higher voltage batteries in it. Uh, but you'll still see the difference. All right, so turn off the headlamp. And this is the old XL50, 104 lumens. You know, nice job. There's a good beam to it. It's good light. Getting the fence there. No, not super bright, but for the average person, uh, everyday kind of carry light. Really good. Trucks here since it's early in the morning going by. And we'll just shine it around a little bit to give you an idea. That fence there is about 30 feet. And the transformer. Mm, 130 feet or so. Top out of tree, 140 feet, 150 feet. It is hitting it. Not sure how well it's showing up on the camera. So you're hitting the lower portion there. And, uh, and just behind us here, about 10 feet to that fence. Pan around. And again, to the end of the fence there is about 70 feet right there from where I'm currently standing. All right, so here is the XL, the new XL50 side by side, and you can see, hopefully, that uh, the spot is smaller, and look how well it's really showing up there. Kind of looks like the same size in the camera, but they're not. The spot is about 30% smaller on the new one on the right, a little different color to the LED, and uh, it is definitely more intense. So down at the end there, let's see if we can do this. You can see there's the old one in that section, and the new one. All right, so the old one, 104 lumens, and the new one. And then again, that's the old one down there. Turn this one off. There's the new one. So hopefully, I think you can see the new one is putting out more light. It's more intense light. Again, these are only our rechargeables. Fully just came off the charger. And, uh, you know, the old one has the brand new um, disposable, so it's getting more voltage, but even still, the uh, the new XL50 does beat it. It does light up an area more. The spill is a little brighter. That hot spot really travels uh, a good distance. Definitely probably is a good rating to it in 12 meters. It really has a good distance to it. Let's shine it up on that telephone pole, that transformer there, and you can see it is hitting it brighter. I'll do a comparison again. Here's the old one hitting it. Turn that one off, and there's the new one. So, as you can see, it is throwing more light, hitting it with a more powerful beam through the tree. There's the old on the left, the new one on the right. So, that's probably a pretty good comparison right there. You can kind of barely see the old one in the same spot. As soon as I shine the new one, see how well it shows up. There's the old and the new one side by side. All right, come down here, the old one, and the new one. 
same price for both of them. Um, obviously, you do get a little bit less run time with the, uh, with the new one. See if it'll hit that tree. I like to show hitting that tree there. And you know, if you can, it is hitting it to my eyes. Yeah, you can see some of it. And there's the new one. But really, that's up when I turn on the new one. Let's just do the new one by itself. And there you can see a little better hitting that larger tree in between the two. Not this one. Not this one. It's right in the middle there. Uh, maybe it's better just above the house. You can see the branches and stuff. All right, so it is definitely hitting better. And um, the new one is a, you get six hours on high with a set of, you know, good rechargeables. I mean, a good, a good disposables. Um, and 31 hours on low, I believe. And it has the same functions. You know, you have the high on this one, then you have the high-low. This is the old one. And then three clicks is the high is the strobe. And the new one has your high, two clicks is low, 25% power, and then three clicks is your strobe. There's really nothing different other than the output and the beam. The distance definitely definitely travels low, further distance with this one. And uh, I say the original one, you'll get uh, 36 hours, I think, on low and nine and a half hours on high. So obviously there's a little bit of a trade-off. But I used this light during the recent... Uh, blackouts that occurred, the storms uh, in the northeast section of the country, and uh, it, uh, you know, performed great, you know, even with the rechargeables, and I usually use it on high. I get about four and a half, five hours on high before you start to notice it uh, dimming. So, lasted a pretty good long time, and I have a lot of rechargeables, so that's never really a problem. I have a lot of disposables, too. So you still get good run time. It's, it's a three hours difference. You get three hours less on high and uh, five hours less on low, something like that. But uh, for the extra power, and this is 139 lumens, and the XL200 is 172 lumens. So you're getting up there close, uh, closer to the XL200, and uh, you, know, you still have a lot better run time. That, that's my one big problem with the XL200, which I absolutely love. But you only get two and a half hours runtime on high. So when you factor in that, uh, you know, you're only getting two and a half hours on high, but you're getting 172 lumens. And this one gives you 140 lumens, but you get six and a half hours. That's, that's a big difference for only a 30 lumen change in output. This is the, uh, the XL200. All right. This is my blue one. It's got the five modes and the, you know, the variable power, just so, so for those not familiar. And instead of having the tape, I just put a rubber band on this thing to act as an anti-slip, keep it from sliding out of your hand, which works better because the tape would come off a lot. And, you know, the heat in your pocket and stuff, it would kind of start to come off. So I opted for the rubber band. But just to give you a quick idea on this, is the XL200. And we'll focus that beam a little bit. So there's the XL200 throwing out 172 lumens. Does a great job, of course. And here is the uh, XL50 is now on the left, the new one. And the XL200 is on the right. Again, these are different beams. The XL50 is much more focused, the beam, more intense. Uh, does have a further distance, a lot further distance. But the XL200 does crank out more overall light uh, in a more dispersed pattern. But again, you only get two hours and half hours on high. Of course, you can dim it down, as you see. You know, let's put the XL50 on low. You can dim down the XL200 from full power and dim it way down to the last 218 hours on low, which, of course, in a survival situation, that's fantastic. So you always have that option. I usually keep it, you know, maybe 20% down off from full, which is about right there, and it's good enough for me to see what I'm doing. But I, so anyway, that's my one real problem with the XL200, which is why I like this new XL50, because you get, now there's actually 30... Uh, five lumens out of this one, uh, nice further beam distance, more light, so it helps you see, brings you closer to the XL200, but you're still getting really good runtime, a good six hours on a set of good, uh, you know, Duracells or Energizers, and up to 30, I think it's 31 hours, yeah, 33 or 31, I'm not sure, I think it's 31 though, um, off uh, 31 hours on low, and it really does shine, get a nice distance out of this thing, lights up 
stuff far away pretty well. Easy, a good effective range is two to 300 feet. You can see what's up going on up in some tree or something pretty well because they're a nice tight spot. And uh, it's the same price at Walmart, twenty nine ninety eight something like that I got it for. So anyway, just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. Uh, if you're looking for, again, a nice everyday carry light that has a, you know, a little bit better power, excellent run time for those um, power out situations of camping, and a good spot so you can really see distance, this would be a great one to pick. And, of course, with all the XL series, you can sort of adjust the beam as you see not really that great it just kind of disperses it all over the place but uh, it does work you know you can keep it a, have a little bit of a spot in the middle and a little bit more of a wide area beam you know it's kind of a basic thing but uh it does have that cap capability like they all do so again if you just kind of want to see an area something up close indoors and then you can always do that and put it on low and you can get uh customize it for what you need. But even on low, again, this one is brighter than the old XL50 on low. It's noticeably, uh, there's a noticeable difference. And uh, so again, even on low, you can still have enough light to see what you're doing. So that's pretty much all you can say. I just wanted to, again, bring that to everyone's awareness. The new XL50 um, with the 139 lumens, 212 meter beam distance, and uh, six and a half hours on high, and I think it's 31 hours on low. So, there we go.